All right, well, welcome back to the channel, you all. Uh, this week, uh, well, for, or at least for the next few days, uh, we're gonna be doing some deer hunting. It was, uh, Thanksgiving was maybe two days ago, three days ago, uh, and uh, I've got a buddy, uh, deer season's been open for about the last month and a half-ish, uh, and uh, I've got a buddy up here in Logan, Ohio. He uh, owns a cabin here on a couple hundred acres, so we're gonna do some deer hunting. Uh, I came here and hunted last year and had all kinds of equipment failure, so I didn't ever manage to get a deer. Uh, so I'm hoping to fix that this time around. Uh, but I'm really excited. Uh, it's a it's a little chilly out here right now, but uh, I think uh, I think we'll be all right. I've got all my heavy uh, my heavy hunting clothing, so that should uh, that should keep me warm enough. But what I'm going to go ahead and do right now, and I'm going to bring you along. Uh, I'm gonna go set up, a, I got about three uh, three ground blinds that I'm gonna go set up on a couple different parts of the property. And uh, we're gonna probably for the most part hunt out of those ground blinds. So uh, there's a lot of deer activity on these areas where I'm gonna go set it up. Ideally, I would have liked to have come and, and set these up several days ago. That way the deer can kind of get used to seeing them there and whatever. But uh, unfortunately with the Thanksgiving holiday, I wasn't able to do that. So. So instead, we are going to go ahead and uh, we're going to set up these uh, these blinds and uh, and hope for and hope that the deer don't really care. So we are into the rut right now, and, ten, and often deer do, they they throw caution to the wind. So I'm kind of banking on that. So, but come along and uh, hopefully and wish me luck. All right, well that's one blind down. I don't know if you can see it back in there or not, but. This um, this we kind of nicknamed the uh, the deer freeway. There's trails all over the place. There's deer sign all over. There's there's uh, scratches and all sorts of stuff. Just a lot of activity. Um, so this is definitely one of those places you have to set up. You're gonna have to hunt. So, uh, but that's one blind down, and I got a got two more to go. So it's chilly out, but. Yeah, you start moving around and hiking up these hills, it gets you get sweaty in a hurry. Oh, I'm gonna have to ditch my jacket in a moment. All right, well, I've got one blind down. Uh, there's a field right over here. Sorry, I didn't record it. I was just so busy wrestling with the blind. Uh, but there's a field right over here, um, and it's and it's fairly clear. And uh, there's just so many trail, like game trails and deer droppings and. Uh, scratches from bucks and all sorts of stuff on this um, all in this area here they really like this area apparently and uh, so we're gonna hunt this is one of the spots we're gonna hunt uh, so I set up a blind on that nice field of fire and everything and uh, moving on to set up blind number two it's a little bit further down this dirt road but if you see uh, that's that's very watery so my car is all-wheel drive but it's not four-wheel drive so it looks like I'm probably going to get end up getting a little muddy here. Um, my feet are going to get a little muddy. I'm not going to take my car in there and risk getting it stuck. So always play it safe. I don't want to have to deal with walking all the way back to the cabin and sitting there with my car in the mud for an entire day. So we're going to not go in the mud. And uh, still, we'll go set up that other blind. So see you then. I just flushed out a good sized doe. So she didn't want to stick around and see what I was all about. So she, she tootled off into the woods. She didn't really seem too upset at me or anything. She didn't bark or huff at me. She just kind of walked off. But there's there's tracks and deer poop, and all stuff, all manner of stuff, all over the place here. So, so I uh. My buddy Con, he's got a deer feeder out right here, so probably what I'll probably do is I'll set up the blind right over here in this uh, shady area over here, maybe a little bit further up, just kind of back it up into the trees. And um, so I, I don't think he has any, there's any corn in that in that feeder right now. Um, but if ever there was corn in there, then the deer kind of get used to like making that one of their stops every night when they come by. So they'll check it out. If there's corn in it, they'll be happy. 
if there's no corn in it, then they'll tootle off moving on to their next their next feeding spot. So we'll get this blind up and uh, I'm getting hungry. I gotta go find something to eat. Yeah, I mean just look at just look at how stamped down all this this grass is all over in here. This grass is usually going up to your waist, you know, and it's just all trampled down by deer just tootling around in here all day. So, so hopefully this will, this will be a good spot. All right. Well, we got the blind all deployed. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'll pick up my trash for one, I guess. Oh, it's my grocery list. Don't want to lose that. So anyways, I'll go through and I'll open up all the windows in there. Um, that way I have some light. I'm not, not fussing around with them in the dark when I come here this, this afternoon. So, But, um, got this up. We got it staked down. We're good to go there. Um, there's one more blind I'm going to set up closer to the cabin. It's about, I don't know, 100 yards from the cabin itself. It's kind of in the wooded area. And then at that point, I think we'll be good to go. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll bang this out real quick. And because uh, I, I guess it's only noon, so I got plenty of time. Then uh, get back to the cabin. I'll lock it up. Run to the store. I'm gonna get all of our dinner and lunch and breakfast stuff. And then, uh, and then uh, wait for wait for this later afternoon. And then I'll come on down and get in one of these blinds and hang out there and see if something scurries in front of me. So see y'all soon. All right. Well. It was so, I was burning up. I was absolutely melting in my jacket. It's like 30 degrees out right now. And it feels amazing because I was sweating to death in my, in my jacket. But I'm going to have to go trekking through the woods here. So I'm not going to record that part. Because um, I'm going to be, I'm going to need all my hands. I got to carry the blind. I got to hack at it with a machete to clear a path for myself. So I'm not going to record that part. But uh, when I go out there and hunt, uh, tomorrow um oh well i'll bring you along then so until then folks well never a dull moment folks so apparently at some point while it was uh putting up all those blinds and everything else the key to the cabin fell out of my pocket now luckily i didn't lock the door and i almost went and locked the door and it turns out that's a good thing i didn't otherwise i'd have been trying to crawl through a window or something rather but uh so i didn't I, I didn't lock the door i'm not locked out of the cabin but i can't lock it up uh so if i go out to get groceries or something i can't venture too far so but you know that's part of that's it ends up being part of the fun right so con's coming down my the, the my the, my friend who owns the cabin and the property he's coming down tomorrow uh morning so he'll bring a spare with him uh but yeah whatever I'm just irritated at myself, so. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get a get a little bit of an early start. It's uh, it's almost three o'clock, so possibly well, the deer will be start coming in and out. Again, we're in the rut right now, so a lot of them are probably been up for a little while already. It's basically a bunch of tired does running around because the bucks won't leave them alone. So it's, uh, you know, you feel bad for the poor ladies, but anyways, um, I'm going to get out there. I'm going to get on, get out to the blind, um, and set up shop and get comfortable, let my scent dissipate and, and, uh, hopefully we'll see some deer. Um, I am all by myself out here, so it would be my luck to actually, kill a deer and have to uh lug it all the way back to the cabin and do all that all by myself so but we'll see so but stay tuned all right well i'm in the blind guys so so far i i kicked out one little one little doe fawn very young deer uh, when i was walking up here um, but it was way over in the uh in the neighbor's property line so it was very far away but um, i think they're up and around um there are some of them up and around so we'll see if um i think as we as we start to get later in the afternoon here you will start seeing a little more hearing a little more activity but um yeah so this is what i'm going to be hunting over So it's an awful lot of open ground. 
but um, they do come down through here. There's a lot, a lot of little, you know, stomp down grass and little trails everywhere. So they definitely come down through here. So wish me luck. Well, guys, I didn't get anything last night. We came out, uh, my friend uh, Con and I, we came out this morning and uh, I was just about ready to call it in because it's getting in the late afternoon. I'm hungry. Uh, I also needed to my own call of nature going on. Uh, so I was about to pack it in and uh, lo and behold, a decent sized doe comes running out. She did not have a care in the world that I was there, just eating and chewing grass and whatever. And uh, so she gave me plenty of time to get a good shot on her. Uh, followed her blood trail, found her about 20 yards, 30 yards from where I, from where I hit her, and uh, that's a wrap. So, so I thank God for delivering, uh, delivering one of His creations to me for, for its meat. So, but uh, I'm real happy. But I gotta get this, uh, I gotta get this girl cleaned up. So, until then. Well, good morning, everybody. We got up super early. My friend Jason is in town from North Carolina. He drove up last night. Um, and then my buddy Con's here. Uh, so I put Jason in that um, in that blind where I uh, where I got the deer yesterday. And I came out to the second blind that I uh, that I set up in this other field. So I've seen one little doe on the very top of the hill, uh, but it was very very far away. There was no way I was going to get her. Um, not a shot I would take, but um, I'll come out here. I do have a second tag, so if I do get the opportunity, I'll fill it. Um, you know, I'll take a shot at a at a deer. Um, if not, perfectly all right. I'm, you know, I'm, I feel blessed with having gotten one already. But um, this field that I'm in, kind of get a look around. All right, so there's a, a deer feeder over there. So I'm kind of hoping that they the deer use you know stop by here on their way uh, to their bedding areas but it's pretty wide open so most of the shots that I can take are, are pretty wide open here um, but like at the top of the hill the, you're pushing like 70 80 yards and, and I won't take that shot with a crossbow so but wish me luck and uh, if I get something Hopefully this this you know if I if I do get a shot, hopefully I'll remember to turn on the tacticam this time. So it'd be nice to, you know, add a, the actual shot in there. Um, but yeah, wish me luck and we'll see if something scurries out in front of me. Alright guys, well I only saw one deer this morning and it was a little doe very far away in this blind. Um, Jason did end up getting a deer. Uh, over at that that first uh, field where I put up the first blind where I got my deer yesterday and uh, So we took it back to the cabin and cleaned it all up and everything um, So it's about it's a little after three o'clock and I decided I'd come back out here and give this other uh, blind another try see if I have some better luck this evening, but um, I guess we'll wait and we'll see um, So far I don't really hear or see any activity at all. There was one bird that was kind of uh, annoying me but um, outside of that there's not a whole lot a whole lot going on here so we'll wait a little while longer and then we'll see if anything uh, comes up if not then I'll go find a different spot so I still have the blind that's closer to the cabin I might try that if this uh, I might try that tomorrow morning if this one doesn't pan out to be anything so I'll see you soon well guys this morning was the last morning um, it is bitter cold out there. It started flurrying, and I think it's like, I don't know, 18 degrees or something. So it was a chilly morning. Um, I saw a ton of deer, but I was the spot I was in, um, it was just too much undergrowth and stuff. I never got a shot off. So really that spot, it just kind of made a better observation post uh, than it did, uh, you know, an actual hunting spot. So um, the, the other guys, uh, J Jason and Con, both of them have gotten shots off. So, um, Khan is tracking one right now. He's got a little bit of blood on the ground. So crossing our fingers that he manages to, uh, hunt down that deer. 
Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna head back uh, into town today. Um, I'm real excited to see my kids. I miss my I miss my family. You, more than a couple of days, and uh, and I, I start missing all their faces. So, so uh, I'm gonna start packing everything up, and then um, I'm gonna head in. So, but I, like I said, I got a deer to get a second deer would have been icing on the cake, and I want to be out hunting again, probably in about another week, week and a half. Um, uh, I'm gonna head back down to a spot, another friend's property, uh, and I'm just gonna kind of do a day hunt there. So, and there's a lot of deer in that area as well. So there's a good chance that uh, maybe I'll come away with something from there as well. But um, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, I won't sign off now. But uh, when I, when I get home, I'll go ahead and give you a sign off. So until then, all right, you all. Well, I made it back. I got showered up, and I feel much much better. Uh, but what I was saying was, is I'm I'm real excited that I managed to get a deer. Uh, it's been a long time since I since I managed to take down a deer, um, and I and this is my first whitetail that I've ever gotten. So I'm real excited about that as well. I can add it to my overall species list on my on my career, my hunting career. Um, but I'm home. Um, I got my kids are here. Uh, it was just and just going out and hunting is just always just a, an absolute blast a uh, couple weeks um, I'm gonna be heading up to a new spot well uh, another spot uh, I have another friend who owns some property uh, further down south and I'll bring you all along hopefully you know when I get there if I do get a shot off hopefully I'll remember to actually hit the record button on my Tacticam, and you all might get an actual look at the uh, at the shot that I take. So, until then, you all. Uh, usually, I have Lennon here uh, to do the to do the the outro for me, but she's uh, she's running around upstairs like an animal. Uh, so make sure uh, to hit the like button on the video um, and be sure to hit the subscribe button. You know, I, I don't really have a schedule for putting these videos out. I'm just gonna put them out as I make them. So. But uh, thank you all for watching and until next time.